We're off now, headed to Lake Garda now. If you think the roads in England are bad, come to Italy. The roads are absolutely horrendous here. Like, we're on a dual carriageway and there's like massive potholes, metal bars sticking out of the train. The kitchen sounds like it's about to just Collapse. <laughs> Got our ticket for the motorway. It looks so like old school. We've just parked the van up, we've arrived at Lake Garda and this is our view. They've got a whole area for camper vans and motorhomes and stuff along the front. But right here. There's our little van. Where are we? I don't know how you say it. Sorry. In Lake Garda. Can we make it across without getting wet? We can get across that. It's like you. Turns out there's a like a some ruins and a um, museum on this little island bit. So we're going around there at the moment. Buzzing with song just like the birds and the bees. Years from now we'll come back and see that we were always meant to be. So this is where we stayed last night. Most of the other motorhomes have left. It's just the car park right by the beach. Well, it's the uh, lake. So yeah, now we're just gonna go fill up our water. This is where you empty your toilet, we think, and then you get fresh water, and then your waste water just goes down there. So yeah, that's not too bad. 21 euros for the night. Here's the uh, tower. Just, uh, um, don't know how you actually say it. Lago de Brez, Braries, no idea. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. We just got ushered off a film chat, film set. <laughs> They're filming a movie or something like at the boathouse thing, and we were taking pictures, and they were like, move, move. So we're gonna try and sneak back around later on. But look at this, it's so nice. When we got here at first, it poured down with rain and there was thunder but um, it's kind of stopped raining now.
We're at, um, where are we? Trey Simi de la Verrado. My Italian's rubbish, I don't know yeah. if that's how you say it. It's like Three Peaks or something. Yeah, it's, um, it's Italian for Three Peaks. Gonna, we've got this massive pass we're going to walk around. Just goes around all of this where you can't really see much. Um, and then potentially we're staying here for the night as well. There's April over there. So that um, building over there is a refuge for people who want to stay the night. Uh, we're going to be staying on our camper though. got no idea whereabouts we are on the route. We've come all the way from down there and around the actual mountain. We're doing track 101 but there's snow everywhere. People are just making their own tracks up. Got really no idea. We just keep finding every now and again find a rock with 101 written on it so we're following that. It's getting colder the higher up we get though. How's it going? Yeah. It's not too bad of a height really. Not really no. Like it's all I made to do. We're at the peak of the trail, so it's all downhill hill from now. We came from that side of the mountain, so we now need to basically head like down there. But I think the trail basically goes all the way down there. You can see some people just down there. So we've got to go all the way around and then come out over there. You can probably see in the distance, like just over there, there's like some kind of building or something. It's more or less where we've got to get to, so basically all the way around the mountains yeah. to the other side. In my heart, in my dreams, when I close my eyes, only you that I see, you're in my... We gave up on the other side, we got like a couple of hundred metres down and then it just turned into like pure ice and snow that you had to, there was like a tiny, tiny little trail that you had to walk through and you got through that and then there was another little bit of snow that you had to walk through and I was, I'm like, no, I'm, that's, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we're coming back down the way that we originally came up, <coughs> apart from we're taking a different trail. So this is the way that we're heading down and we came up around here. Just having a little rest break, Shane's munching on some of the gas. So at the moment we're just chilling in the van, what, catching up on some of our YouTube videos and this is our view for tonight. Unfortunately it started raining but you can't really complain. Oh and the temperature has started to plummet. It's dropping. We may have to turn the Proplex heater on tonight so that will be the first time it gets used. April's already in her... Um, already cold. She's already in a hoodie. Hoodie now so we'll have to see. I've got a fleece, a jumper, thermals, a blanket, two duvets and a heater. So essentially, as I said um, earlier, we're, so there's a toll you go through, 45 euros is for blooming expensive for a camper van, fortunately, but luckily, apparently you can camp at the top of it, so we're parked in the car park, and we're planning on staying here for the night, and before we left our previous campsite, we refreshed all of our water, so we've got about, probably about 25 litres of water, the toilet's been completely emptied and set up, um, we're fully charged and power, the fridge is running on gas, we've got plenty of gas as well, so we're good for the night, and we've got enough food for one or two days worth of dinners i think maybe yeah so this is um what happens when you're in a camper van with april she just puts um towels and stuff everywhere i've actually cleaned up a lot of her who the floor as well yeah. we're gonna make a is it a bean chili black bean chili black bean chili but apparently missing some ingredients so it's going to be black bean chili missing a couple of ingredients like vegetables yeah mainly vegetables so we've got beans I need to burn my hand. I don't like this, it scares me. <gasps> How's it going? Alright, just chilling. Um, and watching our TV for the evening. 
Dinner's cooking. I've got the view out the front window. 